RSV is a virus that comes about every winter. It stands for respiratory syncytial virus. It affects anyone of any age, but mostly is most severe in infants and um, younger infants that are more premature. They're gonna be most at risk for severe infections. So typically you're gonna start seeing some congestion and coughing. Some kids will get some wheezing and shortness of breath with this, but mostly you're gonna start seeing cold symptoms at first. Signs that we would be worried about worsening symptoms would be they're breathing really fast and heavy. You can see their belly moving up and down, or you can see the outline of their ribs when they're breathing really fast, or things like they're not eating and drinking well. So if they cannot maintain hydration, we're not having wet diapers throughout the day, these would be things that we would wanna recheck how their breathing is and oxygen levels in the hospital. RSV is most contagious in the first three to five days of illness. This is why we recommend kids stay out of school and daycare when they're having fevers because that is gonna be the first three to four days of the illness. Symptoms can last a little bit longer, so cough and congestion will hang on for a few weeks after the fever goes away. So it can be one where they continue to cough for a while, but usually will start improving after the first week. RSV is usually spread through droplets in the air. Most kids have it in their saliva and their mucus when they are infected with this. So sneezing and coughing are gonna be your biggest spreaders, but it can spread through touch if they have that on their hands or on surfaces around the environment too. So it is important to try to keep washing hands frequently and clean surfaces, especially in the home if someone is sick to decrease the spread to the rest of the family.